Hi, I'm Alois Shazero from Ping Skills. Sandra's asked us a question about how do you keep that ball low when you're making your first opening topspin? So Sandra, the first key is you can start to think about the technical elements of what's happening here with your racket. Just by turning your racket angle forward, you're going to start to get that ball lower. And also by getting the stroke more forward. But for me, the easier way to think about it is if you're trying to hit the ball low, aim low. It sounds simple, but it will help you to be able to just start to forget about the technicalities and start to get that ball lower. Now, one of the keys here though is that you've got to be brave enough to miss sometimes into the net. I see too many players when they're trying to aim to get that ball low, they're still going this high over the net because they're worried about this. If you're thinking about keeping the ball at this height, then sometimes it's going to go here and sometimes it's going to go here. If it's always going above the net, you're never going to find that perfect low ball over the net. So start by being low yourself with your legs so that you're getting that ball at a nice low height when you hit it. If you hit the ball from up too high, it's going to be really difficult to keep the ball low over the net. So you want to contact that ball low, come forward, angle over, but remember the key is about aiming low to get the ball low. One really good way of doing this is with multi-ball because you'll get lots of opportunities off the backspin ball to practice that stroke. Jeff's going to feed with some backspin and I'm going to try and get that ball low. Now you notice initially I'm still going way too high. I've got to start to make some errors into the net to try to find that perfect low topspin. So I'm going to try and just skim the top of the net and that is the ideal low topspin opener. One of the things we always talk about at Ping Skills is variation. Now that low topspin ball can be really effective, but if you're always going the same height, then your opponent can start to get used to it. So mixing it up with some slower, higher topspins and some lower topspins can be really effective. If your opponent is good at counterspinning, that higher, slower topspin might be a really easy ball for them. And that's when you'll really want to start to develop that lower, spinny topspin ball, which makes it a bit harder for them to make that counterspin. Mm -hmm.